beautiful new book and beautiful music out now. Both have a message of hope. It's incredible. Stephanie Quayle is the artist behind Why Do We Stay and On the Edge. Welcome in. I'm so happy to be here. I know. You what do a it show. All. Oh, please. What, so a, what a lady. Oh, well. You do it all, yeah. really and truly. It's <laughs> I, I will say the next book is going to be much lighter. Well, yes. because you did the therapy, so we've got yes. to talk about it. Why Do We Stay um, comes from deep personal stories, yes. um, and it's a way for others to heal. So tell everyone about it. Yeah, absolutely. So the story started when uh, my boyfriend died in a tragic plane crash. Now, this is back in 2009, and he died on a Wednesday, and that following Sunday, so five days later, I discovered I wasn't the only woman. <sighs> yeah, I've been living in that for <laughs> quite some time. And uh, so I didn't do the work afterward. I didn't do the grief counseling. I didn't get the support I needed. And so I fell into another toxic relationship. Uh -huh. So cut to current life. Uh, it was an opportunity to share the story. The album was the beginning. Mm -hmm. But with music, there's so much room for interpretation. Uh -huh. This is black and white on the page. It's my story. And then it's met with Keith Campbell's extraordinary expertise. Mm -hmm. When I think back to being a 20-something year old and not knowing any of the terminology or what was happening to mm -hmm. me, I'm just so grateful. Now, young people in any age really can have the information and know what they're dealing with and knowing how to manage it, leave it, or adjust it. And that's what we were just saying um, um, uh, right before this, is that until you kind of take a step back yeah. and look at it from afar, yes. you can then make the changes yeah. and rise above, yeah. right? Yeah, there's no way around it. Mm -hmm. We have to go through it. I was talking to a, a, a great uh, psychotherapist recently, and she said, until you heal the trauma, you repeat the trauma. And I think that's so simple and also so profound. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot about myself with writing this book, and I'm just so grateful that I'm still here mm -hmm. and that I get to have this message of hope and my sweet husband you know we've been together almost nine years married now and he's you know he now he's getting the best of me as am I so it's a it's a very special book how beautiful okay yeah because the latest album it's called on the edge yes. um, it chronicles the experience like we just yes. talked about what do you hope people get out of this is it that hope or yeah. or what is it I think it's understanding I think it's empathy I think sometimes just knowing someone else has gone through it mm. we we feel less like an island mm -hmm. and it gives permission mm -hmm. to you know go you know what I've, I've got to figure it out mm -hmm. and I think until we're able to look at our dark stuff you know like pull up the rug open that closet let the skeletons dance and just really own it uh -huh. and own our own narratives that's when we can make that real healing shift oh I love that. I'm getting so many little oh. nuggets from just this yeah. conversation now she has been on The Ellen Show. <laughs> Rolling Stone named yeah. her an artist that you need to know. She's performed at the Opry. She has performed at CMA Fest, which is also coming I know. Up. It's what, what a time. Yeah. Um, but I love how you say you're not worried about the question, what's next? Ooh, man, I have lived in what's next, I think, for 30 years. Mm. I mean, since I was a little teeny bop, you know, just like, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. And this is the first time where I'm just resting in the moment mm -hmm. and trusting that... I'll know what to do next when God says, okay, now, now it's time for next. Yes. And I've never done that before, mm -hmm. you know, so it's wild to answer a question with, I don't know. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's amazing. Going with the flow of yeah. life. It's so yeah. hard to do. Well, I think we try, some, I, I, at least in my, I've, I've tried to force, you know, yeah. and uh, force and chase are two of the words I no longer allow in my vocabulary. Mm. And just really allowing the creativity to come when it's supposed to come mm -hmm. and creating great bodies of work, mm -hmm. if it's music or books or whatever it is. You said that you learned a lot about yourself in, in writing. What did you learn? Well, I'm a real piece of work. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I realized how critical I was of myself and mm. how I really never gave myself any time to just sit in my feelings mm. and work through my feelings. Mm -hmm. And I gave a lot of grace to a lot of bad people. Mm -hmm. And now I'm giving myself that grace first. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the greatest lesson. I actually like hanging out with myself now. I'm not looking outward to fill. Yes. Right? To like just fill the time. I'm just kind of going, okay, what, what do I have to say to myself today? And, and how do I feel? And 
What do we need to work on? Oh my God. Yeah. If, if this is anything like the book, <laughs> you guys are going to get yeah. out uh, so much of, out of it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so for having much. me. What a, uh, what a gift. Everyone, check out her new book, her podcast, and her music online. You can find it at stephaniequayle.com. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're amazing. I can't wait for you to read it and let me know all the things. I will. <laughs>